In Admira Fusion, Vocal presents the first purely ceramic-based restorative material worldwide. It is based upon the innovative combination of tried and tested nanohybrid technology and Ormerser technology. In the following, we will show the filling of a Class 1 cavity with Admira Fusion. Cavity preparation, cleaning, and drying are followed by the application of the adhesive. Here, Futuribon U is used in self-etch mode. After activating and opening of a single-dose blister, the adhesive is applied homogeneously to all cavity surfaces and rubbed in for 20 seconds. The adhesive layer is then dried off with dry, oil-free air for at least 5 seconds. 10 seconds of light polymerization is necessary to cure the layer completely. The first increment of Admira Fusion is directly applied into the Class 1 cavity and adapted. But before the curing process starts, we will have a closer look at the inside of the material. With the help of the transmission electron microscope, it becomes obvious that Admira Fusion contains a mixture of different size glass particles, nanoparticles and Ormerser resin. The colored illustration depicts the single elements more clearly. The three main elements of Amir Fusion are all based on silicon oxide, a unique structural characteristic. We will explain the mechanism behind the pure silicate technology within the following scenes. Let's start with the atomic structure of one glass particle. A silicon oxide network is the base where the silicon atoms are colored in black and the oxygen atoms are colored in red. The silicon atoms are tetraheadally surrounded by oxygen atoms, which connects to further silicon atoms. Additional metal atoms are also embedded in the network. To increase the radio opacity of the material, they are marked in green. The surface of the glass particle is modified shown by the yellow spheres. The special coating is done by a silenization process, which takes place in an upstream reaction. For this purpose, methacrylate silane compounds with a double bond are used. They enable the connection to further double bonds, thus further elements of the matrix. The double bonds are highlighted in red. The next matrix element to take a closer look at is a nanoparticle. Compared to the glass particles, they are much smaller, but from a structural sense, they are very similar. The base is also a silicon oxide network, where the silicon atoms are tetraheadally surrounded by oxygen atoms. During the process of polymerization, the coating enables a chemical connection between the different matrix elements of a mirror fusion. The red highlighted double bonds is responsible for the connection. The glass particles and nanoparticles we've just reviewed are embedded in the Ormerser resin. After light polymerization, each of the matrix elements just reviewed build up a stable three-dimensional network in which all the solid particles are immobilized. The unique Ormerser resin is also based on a silicon oxide network. The silicate backbone of the Ormerser resin is highly cross-linked. Additional methacrylate groups are contained, which are depicted in purple. The red highlighted double bonds are the linking units to the other matrix elements. The so-called multifunctional Ormerser resin enables a quantitative fixation inside the polymer network. In the following, we illustrate the synthesis of the unique Ormerser resin. What happens exactly during the process of producing such an Ormerser resin matrix? Based on a silane precursor, the organically modified ceramic particles are created by hydrolysis and condensation reactions. The Ormerser resin stands out due to its highly cross-linked structure in its core, on the one hand, and the tremendous amount of linking units, seen as the red marked double bonds here, on the other hand.
Back to the macroscopic view. The following working step is to light cure the first increment of the filling. Due to light curing, the recently introduced elements react with each other. A stable three-dimensional network is created. Nanoparticles, glass particles, and the ormosur resin become strongly connected. Once again, we zoom into the process during the light polymerization. The single surface functionalized elements come into view. Glass particles are shown in beige, nanoparticles in yellow, and the ormosur resin molecules in blue. The blue light of the light curing unit initiates a chain reaction. The double bonds react with each other to chains or a network, respectively, which is marked red here. Now we apply and adapt the following increment and light cure again. Finally, the material is shaped, finished, and polished, with results as a functional and aesthetic posterior restoration. The use of Amira Fusion offers the user many advantages. High biocompatibility is achieved by the pure silicate technology. This means that the three main ingredients glass particles, nanoparticles, and ormosur resin are exclusively based on silicon oxide networks. There is no use of conventional methacrylate monomers. Because of the high degree of cross-linking of the specific chemical elements, Amira Fusion has a much higher biocompatibility than conventional composites. The material has very low shrinkage when cured because of the high filler content at 84% by weight and because of the ormosur resin elements. These elements are much bigger in comparison to conventional methacrylate monomers. Here you can observe a comparison of initial shrinkage caused by curing. On the left hand side we have conventional methacrylate monomers. On the right hand side we have the unique ormosur resin elements. The shrinkage of the ormosur resin is significantly less. The following graph depicts a comparison of competitor shrinkage values. The mirror fusion has a value of 1.25% by volume, which is far and away the lowest shrinkage compared to all market relevant restorative composites. An additional property, amongst other things connected to shrinkage, is shrinkage stress. Here, Amira Fusion also performs very well when compared to competitive products with a very low value of just 3.7 megapascals. Very good stability values are of vital importance for durable fillings. A high surface hardness correlates directly with high abrasion resistance, luster, shade, and shape stability. The surface hardness of Amira Fusion is enhanced with 141 Vickers microhardness. A further physical measure is the edge stability. High values reduce the risk of breaking off edges, otherwise known as chipping. Amira Fusion possesses a very good value of 172 newtons. It is important to create stable fillings, especially in the posterior region, which can resist the high chewing forces over the long term. Finally, we present a clinical case. The initial situation is an insufficient amalgam filling, a class 2 restoration at tooth 14. First, the amalgam filling is removed completely, followed by drying, the operating area, and application of the matrix. Further steps are application of the adhesive, dispersing the excess solvents, and light polymerization. The application of Amira Fusion starts with building a distal wall, which is then light cured. The matrix is removed and the additional increments are applied and also light cured. The last picture shows the finished and polished restoration. Function and aesthetics are restored completely.